Before the Catholic Church proclaimed a body of doctrine that would come to be known as its social teaching, all aspects of it were being carried forth by the Congregation of Holy Cross from its earliest days. Through the Congregation's educational ministries, all the principles that today we call Catholic social teaching were present. This remains true today. Catholic social teaching is sometimes referred to as the best kept secret in the Catholic Church. Telling the world that we want to be known as a destination university for those who want to work for justice for all in society, that is to live out the themes of Catholic social teaching, would in my opinion make work on behalf of justice the goal of more people of goodwill and encourage some to join us in that effort on this hilltop. Human dignity, which stands as the fulcrum of the lever of Catholic social teaching, remains at the core of the congregation's educational ministries. It's a principle that served as the root of Moreau's vision about human life. He saw each person as created in the image and likeness of God. The constitutions of the Congregation of Holy Cross remind us, our concern for the dignity of every human being as God's cherished child directs our care to victims of every injury, prejudice, famine, warfare, ignorance, infidelity, abuse, and natural calamity. In 19th century France, Moreau's belief that a person's dignity is not earned, but endowed by a loving and gracious God was countercultural, particularly for a society that historically separated people by the status of their birth. Holy Cross schools, almost two centuries later, remain anchored in this conviction. The principle of human dignity infuses the congregation's educational ministries that are now spread throughout the world and who operate in diverse settings, serving as places of dynamic cultural encounter. Holy Cross schools stand as witnesses to the conviction that each person deserves to be treated with respect and that every person is a valuable member of the human family. It is these convictions that animate the congregation's global educational mission, an educational mission that zealously transforms hearts and minds in communities of hope. I support the vision because of that word, dignity. A person's dignity, according to the university's mission statement, follows from the fact that they were created in the image of God, and that's biblical, the book of Genesis. What the Catholic Church has taught again and again is that human dignity has direct implications for social justice. From Pope Leo XIII to the U.S. bishops in their recent pastor letter against racism, a person's dignity means that society cannot turn them into a victim and that those who would be victimized, the widow, the orphan, the immigrant, they must be held up. Holy Cross schools live out the call to family, community, and participation by providing students with a place that they can call home. As St. Paul taught, as one body, individually members one of another. Modeled after the Holy Family, it is the word family that is probably most synonymous and best characterizes Holy Cross schools. At St. Edward's, we value comunidad, the community, we value people, and we offer an education that adds value to people. We live out every day our mission, and that is what it brings us together and makes St. Edward's such a special place of learning. As human beings created in God's image and likeness, Holy Cross schools teach students that they are favored with certain rights, regardless of their status of birth. Just as importantly, students are taught that they have certain responsibilities. Each person has the duty to build up the common good. Like the scores of Holy Cross men and women religious who came before them as educators in the faith, every person associated with a Holy Cross school today is to be a disciple with hope to bring. For as the biblical writer St. James taught, faith without works is dead.
As a revolutionary of peace, Moreau said, if at times you show preference to any young person, it should be the poor. Drawing inspiration from the Beatitudes, the church calls this principle today the option for the poor and vulnerable. Moreau would have thought about it as simply being a good Christian. Taking its charge from the gospel mandate found in Matthew 25, Holy Cross schools fulfill this principle in many ways, including generous financial aid programs that provide opportunities of hope. Holy Cross schools also teach students to live this principle through numerous Christian service programs. These programs throughout Holy Cross schools help students to see the face of Christ in those whom they show compassion. They teach students to live like Christ, who was guided by love of neighbor and who worked for social justice. Students learn in Holy Cross schools about the dignity of work and the rights of workers. In the past, students had to look no further than the many Holy Cross priests, brothers, and sisters who stood before them as witnesses to love and action. You know, part of the amazing story of not only the Holy Cross Institute, but of Holy Cross educators throughout the last 20 or 30 years, uh, it's the way in which they work together to distill into easy to understand principles or characteristics or values that were never written down. They, they were never part of a, a, a plan, uh, a strategic plan in any way. Catholic social teaching was not written down until a couple of decades after his own death. And yet he anticipated so many of the contours and so many of the, of the approaches that would later become Catholic social teaching. And so the 12 characteristics of Holy Cross schools anticipate um, in, in a very similar way where we need to go in terms of imp implementing ca Catholic social teaching, not only in our Holy Cross schools, but also in our wider church. And they, they help to, co to coalesce with the mission of the church to create a more just, equitable, and humane world. When I think about Catholic social teaching, and in particular, social justice, and the importance of offering up a welcoming community where Catholic hospitality is really something we live and breathe every day. I think about how we train our student leaders to walk with students and families. I think about how we train our staff to encounter um, and welcome families and, and new students to campus. I think about how committed we are to recruiting a diverse student body and how important it is that when we create residential spaces for our communities that students, we know students learn best from one another and when they come from different backgrounds and hold different identities, the richness of the community that we build with students together for them to learn, be transformed, and then later go out and transform the world is so important and so meaningful to their time on the hilltop. Modeling their lives on a savior who lived and worked among us, today's Holy Cross students receive an education that sees the value of all kinds of work including those where people work with their hands and hearts as much as their minds. These living lessons about the dignity of work teaches that to be like Jesus, you first have to imitate him. As Moreau eloquently stated centuries ago, love then Jesus Christ, and before long, his thoughts, conduct, actions, and affections will be yours. When Moreau encouraged members of the congregation to take up this work of resurrection for the sanctification of youth in order to prepare the world for better times than our own, he expressed the congregation's commitment to the principle of solidarity. So I see a deep well of compassion 
when I think about Holy Cross education. I see student-centered learning. I see culturally sustaining and culturally relevant pedagogy. When we're thinking about the ways that we can um, connect virtues, themes, and diversity, equity, and inclusion work. You know, it's really important to recognize that the most influential lesson that a, a Holy Cross student will gain is not tied to any particular discipline or class that they take, though it often is tied to the behavior and the demeanor of the teacher, regardless of what they're teaching. And I think there are two parts of it. One is that the world is complex. Uh, we live in a very complicated world. The problems that Catholic social teaching especially try to address are, are very deep and difficult and, and hard to untangle. Uh, so there can be a kind of frustration not only for the teacher but also for the student when you face that complexity. But the other part is that there's a real commitment by the teacher and, and encouraged in the student to still make a difference even though it's complex. And the reality that you can, that's where the virtue of, or the quality of hope is so key to the foundation of Holy Cross with Father Moreau, that the world might be really difficult to maneuver sometimes, but that hope is what keeps us with the confidence that, that through the grace of God, we are making a deep impact and, we are, and our lives are consequential, not only for ourselves and for our families, but for our society and our larger world. Consistent through every Holy Cross school is the belief that the educational community exists as only a small part of a wider world of interconnected networks of people whose common origin is from God. Solidarity, especially by validating diversity and showing respect for one another both within and outside the school community, is a matter of justice. At its best and with its most lasting impact, Holy Cross schools give students the competence to see and the courage to act, thus fulfilling the biblical call that living rightly means to love one another. Living in solidarity today means seeing ourselves as an integral part of God's created order. Catholic social teaching embraces the viewpoint that each creature has its own unique purpose and none is expendable. The entire material universe speaks of God's love. Therefore, to care for God's creation is a matter of faith. Holy Cross schools, since their inception, have cultivated the earth in the places where they've lived and operated throughout the world. Like the biblical prophet Daniel, Holy Cross schools believe that all creation proclaims the glory of God. Therefore, all persons are called to be stewards for God's creation. In lessons spread across its curriculums and in plans for new projects among its schools, Holy Cross Educational Ministries teach about, plan for, and work to be good caretakers for our common home. Today, to care for God's creation is a core element of what it means to be Holy Cross.